Okay, so I've spent the last few days digging around the eSports website on FIFA 21 and trust me, it was the hardest job to find 50 new things in the game. FIFA 21 looks like a complete update of FIFA 20, but we might have some little hope with all of these changes that I'm about to tell you. So let's proceed. Super Cancel Mechanics you can now super cancel any animation if you want. If you press a button by mistake, you can quickly react and press the LTL2 plus RTR2 button and it will cancel any animation in the middle. You can also cancel skill moves, low passes, through balls, anything you want. Cancel foul advantage. If you press LTL2 plus RTR2, you can cancel the foul advantage, which means if you feel like fancying a chance on a potential free kick, you could do that now. Just cancel the foul advantage and the referee will call the foul immediately. Semi assisted through balls. There are new through balls that you can enable in the controller settings menu and this prevents random through ball trajectories and tries to find a middle ground between the assisted and the manual through balls. The auto skip animations. You won't see any animations when the ball goes out of play during online matches. The animation of the goalkeeper picking up the ball and placing it out for a goal kick will also be auto skipped. FIFA attributes. This is a feature that can be enabled in the kickoff mode only and this is when you are playing FIFA with your friends offline. The feature enables chemistry style like boosts in the kickoff mode. Rewinds gameplay. This is another feature that is kickoff only and can be used when in game and you want to rewind back to a specific moment, take a shot or anything really. The way you rewind the game is you go to the pause menu then to the instant replay section and rewind wherever you want. Instant Match Simming This is a new welcome addition in the career mode simulation system. You can now sim the rest of the match while watching a simulation on your screen. This is very similar to what Football Manager has. You can jump in at any moment and take control of the game and jump out again and sim the rest of the match. The Interactive Match Sim Menu this is a whole new menu set when it comes to interactive match sim this year and it involves tabs underneath the match sim. These tabs are fitness, ratings and stats and the last one is game plan that shows the tactics and stuff that your team is using right now. Now what you have to keep in mind is that you can make instant changes according to the analysis of each player so it's a nifty feature. The match launcher has also changed in career mode. So before you start a match, you will see this screen with all tabs at the bottom to decide whether to sim or quick sim or go for team management of the club on the bottom of the screen. Player attributes. You can now assign specific roles to each player in your squad and help them develop their skills in certain stats as per their requirement. This keeps the career mode fresh at all times since two players are never the same and here you can see Mbappe is being shifted to many roles in attack. Player Position Conversion You can now convert the default position of different players and increase the stats of a player in a different way. For example, we are converting a right back into a variety of positions. Keep in mind that each position conversion takes weeks and the time required is mentioned above. The new active training system. Due to the changes in the player growth, they had to change the training system as well, which means a complete overhaul of training drill being driven by the match sharpness stat. You can now control the types of drills that each player can perform and it can be inside the zone, extreme hot potato or defending scenarios. These will affect the stamina differently and will increase or decrease the match sharpness. Player sharpness. This is a new stat that will indicate how ready your player is before the match. The sharpness of a player will range from 0 to 100 and this will affect the stats as you proceed in the match. This system basically smells like the chemistry style system in Ultimate Team. Team Schedule Planning You can now plan a team schedule in the calendar beforehand to prepare accordingly. You can manage training day schedules and rest days if you like. This feature helps you to speed up the process without going in and clicking on training every time. The new transfer options. There are some new transfer systems that were added in the game. Loan to buy which was back from FIFA 16 so it's not technically new. AI player swaps proposals. That is the AI will now swap players recommended for you. Contract renewal changes where the club will perform contract renewals with the ranking of the player. The player retirement age. 
They had to change the player retirement age to 40 since everyone knows how the players these days can perform at a higher level even with their legs getting older. The new goal kicks. If you press the RBR1, you can call players inside the box and take a very short goal kick. This helps in taking shorter goal kicks but it does promote time wasting which is a big issue. There are some new rare celebrations that can be triggered when you run to the sidelines and that is the finger swipe celebration and the selfie celebration. FUT Co-op. This is a new mode in Ultimate Team in which you can play with your friends as a 2v2 against online opponents. The player who invites will be in charge of the team and the team management and you can play division rivals and squad battles with this mode. The trainer inside. This feature is actually too smart for EA and it's actually surprising to believe that they put it in. You can now enable the FIFA trainer inside co-op which means you can see the friend's input and you can react faster to whatever your friend is pressing. Team events. Team events and ultimate team lets you support a team in a competition that EA will update weekly. By making different squads contributing to the XP of the team, you are supporting the team basically. The team that will win the competition will win all the rewards. FUT Stadium You have your own stadium in Ultimate Team and you can build, customize with the items that you pack and unlock during the season. Every detail can be changed like pyrotechnics, TFOs and even colors of the lines. FUT Friendlies Friendlies is also getting an update with new squad requirements to make it more fun when going in friendlies and completing objectives. This will help the silver markets return back to the game after a long time. Agile Dribbling This is a new feature that EA has added and I can't say if it's a new feature or what until I try it. But on paper it does look OP. The players when they have their ball at their feet can now move the ball left and right pretty quick as you move your analog stick by pressing and holding the R1 slash RB button. Directed Runs This is basically a new system that they've implemented where you can press and hold the L1 button and then flick the right stick to take control of another player around you to make a run and beat defenders in front of you. Directed Pass and Go This happens when you mix the Directed Runs feature with the passing options available in the game already. You can do different types of 1-2 with players around you with a normal ground pass or a lob pass and even through ball. The Player Lock this is another way you can take control of any player around you by pressing L3 R3 together which I must say is a very difficult button combination to pull off. But if you manage to pull it off your control will be switched to another player near the box and you can take control of his run and move him around the defenders for the best possible shot. Positioning Personality the positioning attributes on your players define where they position themselves and how they move once the ball is being played. A player with high positioning will be aware of offside trap and will stop after a point whereas a player with low positioning will not make the perfect decisions when it comes to preventing himself crossing the line. I don't think so this will change a lot but I feel like this is just a gimmick since something like this must have existed in any football game. Smooth Encounters This is a new system which involves better understanding of running paths to prevent players to run into each other. The function understands collisions of players and if a collision does happen, the players are coded to avoid each other to prevent collision as much as possible. Competitor Mode This is a new mode inside FIFA 21 or rather it's just a setting that you can enable in career mode and foot squad battles. When selecting legendary and ultimate difficulties, you can now select the competitor mode to increase the difficulty of the CPU and feel like you're playing against superhumans. Manual Headers There are new manual headers in FIFA 20 which help you to direct the ball anywhere you want. These generally work like a charm when you're taking a goal kick and you try to win the ball back in the final third with your striker. Manual Headers makes the user solely responsible for the direction of the ball and not rely on the systems helping the trajectory of the ball. The new shoulder tackle helps you to challenge a defender softly from behind without going in head first when defending. The shoulder tackle can be a lifesaver when tackling inside the box and not conceding penalties. You will also notice seal out animations when the defenders put themselves in the middle of the ball and the attacker. To perform the shoulder tackle press the LTL2 button. Changes in crossing. The semi assisted setting that used to exist in the previous FIFAs is now the assisted setting. 
and the new semi assisted setting is more manual. So if you guys have ever used manual crossing, you have a new rework to semi assisted crossing, being more error prone in control of better players. New skill moves. There are three new skill moves that you can perform to beat your opponents one on one in game. One being the bridge skill move that has been shown in the trailer. So is the direction nutmeg which has also been shown in the trailer. The last one being the draw felix turn that I'm showing you right now. The new skill move mechanics. The skill move changes allows any player to perform any skill moves like rainbow flicks and stuff. Yes you can perform rainbow flicks with goalkeepers if you want now. It will just be very inaccurate when a goalkeeper is doing rather compared to Neymar for example. AI player customization. I'm very sad to say that pro clubs our beloved game mode has only two changes and one of which is AI player customization. All the AI players around you will now be customizable and won't generate randomly so now you can customize players accordingly. The tactics menu, this is another small update in pro clubs where you can use the whole tactics menu of the other game modes online and change them inside pro clubs. The only thing I'll say that this might just ruin the experience of pro clubs with drawback and the time wasting and stuff. Volta friends, coming to this useless game mode that is Volta and now you can invite your mates to a game and play it like pro clubs. 3v3 I guess is the maximum limit for now and I cannot wait to not play this game mode again this year. There are some new nutmeg animations this year in Volta and you need to press the L1 plus R1 or the LB plus RB and then flick the right stick to nutmeg the player in front of you. The instant hard tackle. If you guys remember last year ESport added the hard tackle which means you could just hold down the tackle button and then tackle the man standing in front of you. You can do it without holding the button this year. Just press the RB R1 and then press tackle and you can tackle instantly. All celebrations, kickoff animations, throw-ins, goal kicks, corner kicks and even penalty kicks will be twice as fast as before and they are trying to stop the time wasting and let people actually play the game. Mostly bringing them down to 15 seconds which was 30 seconds previously. Pimonte Calcio. Pimonte Calcio is joined by another team in the Hall of Fame category of this game and the next team to join them is AS Roma and they are called Roma FC in the game and they will feature completely horrible designs when it comes to badges and kits. The top 200. They have increased the size limit of the top players in ultimate team to top 200 from top 100. The competition in the top tier is so tight that people can't even finish in the top 100 with 29 wins out of 30 in the weekend league. Improvements in the next gen. EA has announced that the improvements in hardware and the console will lead to the improvements of player experience and fidelity. You can watch my detailed video on this on my channel. The auto upgrade for PS5 and the Xbox Series X. If you upgrade your consoles to the PS5, you don't need to buy the game on the next generation consoles. Your current FIFA 21 account will auto upgrade preserving all your progress in Ultimate Team. Unfortunately, same cannot be said for Pro Clubs and Career Mode. The financial takeover changes. You cannot change how much financial help you want to take from the board at the start of your career. You either start the game with 500 million or nothing if you want. There will be no collision of the ball with the hands of the players in FIFA 21. Seems like EA is going for a crazy fix for a handball problem. Since the players except the goalkeeper obviously will not interact with the ball with their hands. Updated game menus. FIFA 21 will go through a complete overhaul when it comes to ultimate team menus in game. The menus will be controlled from one slider that divides the squad and the stadium and all the features that are required for the transfer market. Volta will feature the addition of 5 new stadiums that is Sao Paulo, Sydney, Dubai, Paris and Milan. Are you happy with the changes I mentioned in the video? Leave a comment let me know. If you like this video click like and if you're not subscribed now is a great time to do so because we upload brand new FIFA videos almost every day and the best way to see them is a subscription so click subscribe and don't forget to enable all notifications. As always thank you very much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram that is TFE Gaming and we will see you right here next time on TFE Gaming.